Welcome back to the Dull Allegiance flat, guys. On the previous episode, we finally scored ourselves the Hellfire. Where's it at? Right there. There it was. Got ourselves the Breath of the Dying and Moxie's Bouncing Pair, a new one. Moxie's Endowment to give us lots of extra XP. Well, 4% extra XP. And a Kinelux. That thing was actually one of the better guns that we used the other day. Here is our skill tree. We got a few points so far in the green tree. We're going to be working this down to cap today. Also, we're going to be uh, switching over to Fade Away at some point. Nothing in the Grape Cooler and blueberry punch is just down to here and then pumpkin spice is capstone now and we're doing some rack attack at the moment but we're probably going to switch that up today we got a lot of stuff to accomplish today i want to hit max level i want to go farm up some of the remaining gear that we haven't gotten yet including some of the mayhem exclusive things like the craters emp5 and the good juju which is available in the marie's black market machine up there right now but i haven't done this mission and i feel like we could just go farm it pretty easily don't say that we're also going to dive into the arms race and see if we can get ourselves the torch so lots to do let's get started not bust any milk we need the xp i i instinctively want to go to the butt milk it's become quite the problem for me i think using the breath of the dying we should be able to theoretically go through this really fast for xp we're gonna find out i think the breath of the dying is gonna tear up the scrap trap nest dude i think this is gonna go real smooth aha <laughs> we got the strat this is how you survive the blood starved beast except now they're not they're not spawning shit um i think we could turn the i think we could turn the mayhem up now let's get this other scrap trap to come over here let's see what this does <laughs> that's insane dude that that's ridiculous that's absolutely ridiculous yeah i'm gonna bump it to mayhem 11 i'm gonna get crazy <laughs> yeah, you, see, you kill one and a bunch die. I mean, I could split the difference and go like mayhem six or seven, maybe. Because wow, yes, we can kill them, and it's taking a minute, you know. All right, mm, let's do that one. That one might be survivable. Are we cool to go ahead and turn on guardian right now? That should speed things up. We did beat the game. Woo! Level up, boss mortem. Okay. See, did you guys see what I did there? That's the Phoenix University lesson for you. If you're stupidly using post-mortem like I am, and you're about to come out of fight for your life, don't come out of fight for your life if there's a post-mortem skull coming toward you. Wait till the skull hits you and let it waste itself. And then boom. Nope, nope, not, not all of you. And Yahtzee. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I like that idea. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to Sanctuary. We're gonna speed this up even further. Well, looky there. <laughs> oh thanks jt rothrock thank you so much some spicy water out here now boys <laughs> you gotta watch out dude i jumped that one leave me the hell alone skull get one of these guys instead a hornet oh shit thanks dude with fade away active oh damn breath of the dying isn't dangerous you're just getting karma of the barrel trolls from over the years that sounds right i i can believe that all right see this allows me to get away how are they still following me i'm I'm in fade away. Get away. I'm in fade away. <laughs> you shouldn't know where I'm at. My cloaking device is not working properly. Don't cry a little crap. Crap. <laughs> I said crap traps. Don't cry a little crap traps. Oh, you know what we should have done though? We should have turned on cartels. Because remember when, that time when I did something smart? Me either, because it hasn't happened yet. I mean, that's pretty smart doing that, you know. Hey, a new auto aim. Sweet. Thinking about that yesterday, you wonder how many Borderlands you'll see in your life. You want to be one of those guys that talks about how things were back in your day on Borderlands 2. Back when Borderlands 2 was out, everything was perfect. So in-game was great. Everything was perfect. Yeah, it was great. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, so we got our fire hill. Finally, that took a while. So now we're gonna go to Graveward and let's see how much faster we can do things. And I don't know if you guys saw the modifiers that I chose. These modifiers are really good if you wanna try and jump to like Mayhem 8. The only thing you gotta watch out for is the post-mortem skulls. But if you can, you know, walk, then you should be fine you know because you can basically outrun them at any time uh and then big kick energy you can basically mitigate that just by controlling your aim that's why i chose those two hmm yeah mayhem 8 might be a little much i don't know maybe we should have stayed at the scrap trap now <laughs> gentlemen ladies boys and girls cats wearing birthday hats and poker players that don't have a full deck it's day number five of the doll allegiance flack and i need a new name what you got whoa what the shit flax dying breath I like that one. All right, and what's the pet's name? He's using a doll SMG. <laughs> My man, what a good boy you are. All right, a couple of people said Dahlia. We're gonna go with Dahlia or our pet. And my name is Flax Dying Breath and Dahlia. 
let's go dude we look so cool i like that we got matching pajamas but wait why does my vehicle say it has like 99,999 health can somebody try and blow up my vehicle i'm just curious what is happening i know what's happening <laughs> i know what's happening i turned on the fling trainer this morning so i could fly up to the machine try and get the good juju and i was like well i don't want to die so i turned on unlimited health <laughs> <laughs> and i forgot to turn it off run invalid well we didn't get any gains from it so and we died over and over wait how does that work we were dying over and over remember when we were in the scrap trap nest we died a lot in there yes thank you boom look at that it's a small damage improvement hold on let's take a look here so here's my there's my one on the the left it was my one that i was using to kill the scrap traps with that thing we're gonna absolutely obliterate the scrap trap nest on mayhem 11. what if it had a fleshlight on the barrel we wouldn't get as much accomplished would we level 50. welcome to my janky scrap trap nest my skanky my skanky what my, my janky janky and skanky scrap trap nest a little skanky a little janky you know I'm good pet you don't need to revive me i've got a hey pet can you come revive me For the longest time i like never used this thing because i always killed myself with it and i was like oh, i can't use that gun now i'm starting to be like you know what i'm part of the i'm part of the breath of the dying appreciators club now now that i can do stuff like that miss me ow shoot didn't miss that time i really didn't miss that time got him that's so very and you got a ripper okay level 54 level 56 wonder how far this breath of the dying will carry me <laughs> this xp farm it might carry me the whole way yo level 62 10 more levels to go 69 yeah level 72 Woo, we did it sanctuary we're done here i think the the obvious choice for thing that we should do first is the torrent all right so we are now max level here's our skill tree now that we've updated it we are going fade away and we're doing the gorillas in the mist so our fade away doesn't fade after three shots we keep shooting which is great for dull weapons because most of them are burst and one burst is all three of your shots so if you miss any of that burst you're screwed this allows us to keep shooting for five extra seconds so really nice on that and we do unblinking eye which increases our critical hit damage and since we're doing megavore basically everything is a critical hit so a green tree pumpkin spice those are the two main ones we got some two fang in this build because with doll weapons we can actually take advantage of that extra projectile and then in the blueberry punch we we're down to barbaric yalp so we get the pet bonuses on this and nothing here in this tree now we need to go farm for our gear because we hit max level using a level 49 breath of the dying everything else is completely worthless to us at this point so we're gonna go ahead and dump everything got it yeah you know what i want i want a new breath of the dying make it happen come on game hook me up give me something doll at least anything you defrauding bitch <laughs> we got robbed dude bunch of stuff we can sell right guys right that's that hey, let's look on the bright side guys we can sell it all these green items and stuff that was worth it yes we got oh where did you come from got it first run that's pretty nice we got our torrent on the first run of arms race can't beat that dude all right what do you guys think we're gonna get from the boss give me your predictions in the comments below you think we'll get something good or do you think we'll get disappointment i know where i lean on this spectrum of things from personal experience doing arms race a lot of mines in here a beskar yeah beskar is ancient i can use that that's you know better than nothing oh my god the torrent goes burr dude the torrent is crazy hey did we get it wow oh god that's the 45 mag one. Oh, should we keep farming for a lower mag nah, i think we're good we're gonna take what we get not good parts on that one i can tell you that right now bad uh bad stock bad foregrip still bad breath of the dying the good breath of the dying right hey first run nice so what the emp5 does is it allows you to run faster see how we're running right now now we switch now we're running faster luckily for me since uh farming the good juju sucks this week in conrad's hold the maurice black market machine is right here on the map basically when you load in you start here you gotta do a side quest really good side quest i do recommend it and then you end up over here and as you can see we got the good juju in here we also have the rebel yell and the nimble jack oh man insufficient funds it's 24 million look at that my uncle hooked me up what a guy all right now we got the good juju i don't know why we got the good juju but we got it let's see if we can go kill somebody with it yeah so the good juju is not good 
Put it that way, it's not good. <laughs> Based on the, what is it, the bad juju from Destiny, it's kind of like a reference to that. We won't really be using that, but we got it. Hey, there we go. Star Helix Radiation. All right, that's cool. We'll take that. And first run, another first run drop, dude. Wow, and it's full auto. Nice. A new shocking AAA. All right, I'll take a max level AAA. We won't be able to kill anything with that, except for Katagawa. It's your time to shine, AAA. Look at that. Yeah, I'm killed by the AAA, dude. That doesn't happen often. Okay, well, we got a sand dog. Hey, corrosive. Yeah, torrent. <laughs> torrent looked really good right there. Hey, we got one on the first run. <laughs> wow. Arctic trained chaos and wrong mag, wrong foregrip, wrong grip. Yep, definitely didn't get the god roll in the first run. It's still fall out of though. So that's good. It's pretty nice. <laughs> that's pretty nice, man. I like the torrent. Hey, he gave us a barrage. All right, there we go. That's pretty nice. Black has weird toes. Why does Flack have toes? That's what I want to know. Why does Flack have toes? Of all the people that have toes, Flack is the one that least needs them. I'm a real boy. I got toes. I'm flack toes intolerant. <laughs> that was a good one, JT. That was a good one. I walked right into that one. Really put my foot in my mouth with that one. I don't I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. Stop it. Get some help. A vanquisher. All right, I'll take a vanquisher. Hey, bullet vamp. We can still ammo with that. Adapting chaos in 18 mag. Oh, hold up. It's missing a barrel part. It's got the wrong foregrip. Got the, it's got the right grip. Better than nothing. And a hellwalker. Naturally. Nice. All right, guys. That's where we're going to wrap up today's episode. We will be back with a finale. On the next one, we're going to get the blood starved beast, the blanc, a few other odds and ends. I can't even remember what all we need to get. Still, yeah, we still need a couple sandhawk options. So, hope to see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a great day.